Yo, what up, what up, what going on with it? Today, we're going to be doing League of Legends cinematics. All right, we're going to get right into this because I know you guys are already, half you guys already just skipped, skipped like all the way into the video. So let's go. Boom. You're going to be invited to this Discord server. I'll put the link in here too, but you got to be in this Discord server because if you have any questions, these people answer it. Lol Nam himself, everyone in here, you can just, I'll show you how to get help and when you have a question you're just going to come up here you're going to type skyboxes and then you're going to get all this information about skyboxes so please use the discord uh when asking for help anyways let's keep going uh you're going to come to the discord i'll put the download link in the description as well but join the server this is where you're going to download. I'm not going to show you how to download this because it's pretty simple. You're going to click download here and then you're going to go to your downloads folder. I don't want to do it because you actually, I don't want to lose this file path. Downloads, it'll be downloaded in here. You can just run it, boom, download, install. And then we're going to open up League of Legends. We're going quick, we're going quick. We're losing, oh my goodness, League of Legends is going to take so long to open. I'm going to lose so many viewers within the first 0 0.46 seconds because they've watched so much short form content that they can't even wait for League of Legends to open up without getting on their phone and doom scrolling. You'll need to have already played League of Legends to get, like, to get this going. So you play League of Legends, you play a game. Um, once you play a game, you're going to come here. You're going to go to match history and then you're going to download a game. Let's see. I just download this one. The first one. Um, if these are grayed out, it means that the demo has expired. So when you film, do it within like two weeks. If the like at the most, you have to record quickly because you're going to lose the demo. Um, there is a way to go like older than that. I think um, lol Nam might have a capabilities to do that. But we're just covering the basics here for a uh, lol name editor go ahead open up your demo <clears throat> look at that re okay go ahead and pause it i have one monitor so it's going to be a little bit tricky uh we're going to come over here and open up our lol name editor okay and it looks like this it is absolutely gorgeous i have no clue what this means play around with this stuff because this is all super cool you got like your projects, your settings. I don't know what that means, but we're just going to do open editor because that's that's where we're going to be at. Boom. To start it off, first things first, you're going to want to set your keybinds. Click this. Settings. Keybinds. These are the most important ones right here. I'll scroll down. Are these camera position. You can put on K. Camera rotation. K. All this stuff. There's tons of stuff in here. So you can just set it all however you want but when it comes to placing the cameras and actually getting the cinematic these are the most important i have my tilts on different keys roll left roll right i actually have my fov on i think b and n right here see increase field of view those are pretty good too we're going to need those as well go ahead and set up them key binds boom boom Go ahead, play the demo. What I'm gonna do is, is because when I record, I want it to be really smooth. I'm gonna go into video and I'm gonna change the FPS to 30 actually. This will make the the animation play out a little bit slower. Uh, the camera won't go as fast. This is like a really old trick. You don't have to do this, but I want it to be as slow as possible. Let's go ahead and go to Ari, because that is my character that I played. We're going to go to the cinematic that you want. Go ahead and open LolNam Editor. Let's go to Visibility. Let's turn off all this stuff because we don't want any of this. We want that. Move that. Show target. Boom. Show. You can, boom, 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 boom. All that stuff. Perfect. Now, I'm going to press numlock. I have a 100% keyboard. 
So I press numlock and then I change this to FPS. And then I use on my numpad, I have eight, four, five, and six. And by pressing those, I could just scroll down to my character like that. Yeah. Holy. Okay. Let's see if I can get like somewhat of a cool cinematic of Ari. Okay, so like say I want like a cinematic of her doing like this with her finger, right? And the skyboxes. So now we're going to get into skyboxes right here. Skyboxes are weird. My workaround, there's probably a better way for this, but my workaround is actually to go, I'll link this too, is go to the league director, go through the download process, and then what happens is, is when it downloads, it'll go into this file path. So for me, it's that. And then what you're going to need to do is come to the LulNAM and then you can link it. And then it, this is wanting you to link to it's this program data, uh, uh, league director, resources, skybox. So you would link it to this, right? You do boom, select folder. So now when you pull this up, you have the skybox. So we'll just do, let's do cloudy. Uh, actually, no, that one's not cool do night.dds okay so now when you come back into league it's night i also do this because i use depth of field so i turn off all the particles so it's really clean and then let's set up for our depth of field boom put this on That looks pretty good. We can even move this up. There's other things you can play with as well. There's fog, fog height. See that? All, all sorts of cool things. Like you could get such a cool look with this. Keep play around with it. Also change your near clip to 10. Perfect. And then let's film. I'm going to tilt my camera a little bit. Uh, this will happen. Sometimes it gets buggy. Change it back to visibility. This is like a me thing, most likely. Then you can do that. That's my FOV keybinds. Let's do this. Okay, so now I'm going to set up for a cam path right here. I'm going to press K. Let it play out a little bit. I'm going to go forward. And then I'm also going to zoom in my field of view. And then I'm going to press K again, play it forward. I'm going to go forward a little bit and then I'm going to press B and then I'm going to press K and then she's going to do that animation and I'm going to come up here. I'm going to zoom in more and then press K. And then like, maybe we can come back like out here like this. Frickin' Samir, whoever this is, is in the way. And then I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and press K again. You can get really crazy with these cameras, bro. And then while that's going like that, maybe we fly up here. Is my Dolph, my Dolph gone now? And then we'll zoom in more. And then we'll press K again. So when we pull up a lol nam, this is what we're looking at. Um, what I like to do is I like to disable that, click the screen a little bit, apply sequence. I go super far back, change this to one and play it. And then here's what we do. We're going to go to, we're going to skip to like a two. The reason why we go back so far is because it fixes the animations. There's a lot of animation glitches that's just like a league thing we don't like to mess around with those so change that slowly drop it down this is just like a me thing you also don't have to do this but that looks good point three then right when this gets close for its slowest i'm going to change it to point one okay i changed it a little bit too far okay now put your thing out of the way start recording use obs g-force whatever you want to use here we go we got our cinematic going now See, it's really slow. She's gonna do a little spin. You can leave the particles on if you want. Boom, that'd be a sick cinematic if you're like a Ari player, like a faker main or something. 
yeah, this is doing its thing. You can do whatever. You come over here, play it. Detach the camera before you delete these keyframes. By the way, there's other keyframe methods. You can do shift, draw square, right mouse click, and do auto ease. There is a lot of stuff you can do with this, and I'm just covering the very basics. You show UI, turn the UI back on, pull that up. Uh, click on delete on the delete key. I like to go, I guess, yeah, you can probably just start flying around, right around again. Yeah, and that's pr that's pretty much it. That's all you do for recording. Uh, we'll do, if there's any glitches or like bugs, just play around with these up here. Um, come in and out of director mode and FPS mode. That will fix a lot of issues. While we're at it, we'll do POV. Okay, for POV, I like to zoom in and then we'll turn the particles back on. We'll skip to a kill. We'll go to Ari. I'm gonna change the doff up a little bit. Okay, that's that's good doff. Boom. She Ari gets into a fight here soon, so I can go ahead and just change it really down low and then I press, come back into here on Ari. Boom. Hide this. You can leave your mouse here for a little bit. Boom. And it goes away. And then you just start recording. So I think Ari's going to get a 1k. So you can see like what's actually happening in their names. Anyways, that's the gist of it. Pretty easy, pretty simple. There's other stuff you can go into that's like way more in depth. This tool that was like literally just the surface, but it's just, I guess, a good way to get started. Some crazy, crazy things you can do.